Hey, hey, everybody, how y'all doing today? Well, tonight I should say, 10 minutes until midnight, and, hey, 10 minutes till midnight. I remember that I did not make a blog today, so you want to know what I did? Well, what I am doing right now, <laughs> I'm, I'm making a blog right here, one a day. It is not hard to make one blog a day one video blog all that good stuff it's not hard it really isn't like how often how many times a day okay so, okay this question varies from person to person but hey how many people watch at least an hour of TV every single day me I can actually say I don't one no cable two I don't have a TV I don't really don't need it. I got my computer. I got y'all. Y'all the ones listening. Y'all the ones watching. Y'all the ones that I'm trying to entertain. I, I can play whatever video games I want from my computer. I don't need a TV for that. I don't need no console. But hey, I'll let you know this. Once I get everything established and where I need it to be, you better believe I'm going to have a PlayStation 5. I didn't like shit. I'll play PlayStation 2, 3, 4, 5, Xbox 360, Xbox Influx, Xbox Revert, whatever, whatever they come out. I would not be surprised if they come out with an Xbox, an Xbox Reflux or Reflex or something like that. They'll come out with something crazy. Man, everything's always adapting and evolving. Everything's always getting better. Like, straight up, and I can say that too, like, so everybody remembers when PlayStation first came out. Gr most of them were the old gray console. Yeah. A little push button. Lid pops open. Original model. Out comes the PlayStation 2. There you go. Nice, bigger, bulkier, more sturdier. All that good stuff. And then, what did they do? They came out with a PlayStation Slim. So you got the PS2 Fat, PS2 Slim. Some people call it like that. And then you got the PS3. Um, giving you those examples as like a model for like how shit goes in this world. Like everything is always updating, or everything's always evolving, and you should be right there with it. Like I thought about this one day, and like I was like, yeah, it's true because I heard it in audio. Like the information that you put in your brain can be considered software for your computer because your brain works faster, thinks faster, and is more powerful than even the most powerful supercomputer that we have because you want to know what? Humans built computers so what a computer knows is only what is put into it like if the calculations are wrong for what the computer if the calculations are wrong when you're up, when you're building a computer and you put in the wrong calculations for the motherboard and all that, you're gonna get some really fucked up wrong answers. Like, I can relate this to Empowered Network because it's true as hell. Because, like, you need to update your software. Like, put it this way. Say your memory's full on your computer. What do you got to do before you can install new software? You have to uninstall the old programs that are useless, obsolete, that you don't need anymore. You can still use them. You can still remember them. But hey, how often are you using those? You know what I mean? In order for anybody to take in new information, software, they have to be willing to replace their old software with the new software. Like, it's all about how you think. Like, it really does come around to how you, how you think about things. Like, uh, positive positive mental attitude or a negative mental attitude that right there how how are you going to get rid of that negative mental attitude unless you replace it with a positive mental attitude you know what i mean 
like yeah, it's it's late. I'm tired. <laughs> like I said, ten five minutes till midnight now, so hey. One blog a day. And I'm working to replace all the negative software and fill it in with the new software that I'm trying to learn. Anything that is bad that I don't need to hang on to no more, anything that I can look back upon and like see a bad situation at that time and then look at it in a different way in order to learn something from it. Like hey, when I look back at my freaking at that event that where I nearly went, I still don't like talking about it. <laughs> it's just cause it's so crazy because I'm s I have such an attitude already like man but I I had to look back at the time when I was going through my suicidal thoughts and all that and what nearly happens like I had to look back at that bad situation and I had to see and find the good I was out of it and it was intentional and unintentional because I was constantly looking, constantly looking. I even, I even said a prayer. I even prayed to God and was all like, "Yo, man, I, I want to find that reason. I don't care what it is, even if, even if it's like you hit me with a brick wall, hit me with something that will give me my why to cry. What, what is the why that makes you cry? Because I thought about all the reasons, the same ones that I'm, that I still have now." I thought about all the reasons and none of them made me cry. It wasn't until I put myself back into that situation that I actually realized, holy crap, I have already cried over it. I just didn't recognize and realize it. I didn't know what was the why until four years approximately after that event, five years after that event when it did happen. <laughs> like, hey. Uh, I just, I, I know that I, I knew that I was over it. I, I had was basically deleting that information out of my brain. Like I'm still always gonna remember it, but I'm not gonna use it as like a memory bank to where I go back and dwell upon the thoughts and actually can you know put myself in that situation. Like oh, I feel the pain again. No, I made that face about it because it's like shit. The pain is nothing. When you, when you realize that the pain is nothing, when when you make it make your way to the end of your road, when you, when you make your way and you start telling your story and you start sharing who you are and you start being yourself, it it, it brings out so much that people are missing. So every video I make, more and more, I love it, I enjoy it, it's wonderful. Because I'm expressing myself to what some people would say is, oh, you're just talking to a computer screen. But no, when I see that little eyeball poking at me and saying, there is tens, hundreds, thousands of people out there, hundreds of thousands of people out there who are going to be watching my videos and who are actually going to get something important out of the videos that I put. <laughs> just being yourself having fun and realizing that you're the one that's in control of your life and no one else is you decide whether or not you're happy or sad you're the one that puts yourself in a bad mood you're the one that puts yourself in a good mood you're the one that ch stands up and cheers in the middle of a game when you when your team is playing what about that person beside you who was not standing up and cheering while you were it's all a choice. Everything in life is a choice. It all depends on the choices that you make, where it will lead you, and what is happening for you. Because everything happens for a reason. A lot of people do not like hearing that, and if y'all don't like hearing that, hey, peace and love to y'all still. But for everyone who knows what I mean when I say everything happens for a reason, they can actually look back and be like, holy shit, that did happen for a reason. <laughs> like, 
that event that happened four or five years ago led up to now. So, peace. Video's over. Past ten minutes. Love y'all. Really do. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it is for y'all. <laughs> Laters.